hello good day folks welcome back to my channel and today we are going to review one of a better build bulb from knobside again i know most of you guys which is following my channel criticize knobside because of their warranty and support and here i am back again with knobside brand okay so the model we have here is actually knobside n37 series okay so it is the letters from north side okay the n37 which is i get this one is 9000 pipe socket um i have a new led chip which called gxp okay i i believe is g the gxp stand for the Cree xlam chip which they use okay so now after criticize knob side on their manufacturing quality and their support which they ignore my two years liability warranty now knob side comes for this bulb is one year international warranty now they took a step ahead by providing the url and the address of the um, manufacturing facility and together with their email support as well as contact i'm not really sure if the gopro can zoom that okay so now knob site really really take step ahead on their warranty scheme hopefully it is reliable okay actually why i get back to knob side is not because i wanted knob side okay now you have to remember this n37 series the gxp lamp is not engineered by knob side okay i i got idea on buying this from an indonesian youtube channel which there's a lot of uh led stops i get i need to give them a credit i will paste a url on the channel okay let's do the unboxing anyway so here it is they provide you a dual i think glove for the installation installation process oh surprisingly they give a cable tie four of them in fact maybe to to tie down the or the led driver you call it okay some manual okay in fact this is a good manual it really show the n37 model which is uh, one of the key point here they write the manual even up to the logo i mean the graphic of the installation is using n37 okay so this manual is really really uh, designed for this bulb which is good usually chinese manufacturer they just put a random uh, bulb logo which is not of the model on the installation process i mean they recycle the manual but this one knob side do a step step ahead which is really really surprising for me because um i don't really believe knob side uh, would do such a quality things uh, because of my first experience okay now seems they have step ahead okay which is good okay see all right so i'm not going to need this manual anyway because i'm really good at electronic i'm not also going to show you guys the installation process because it's pretty straightforward and easy okay so now we get straight forward onto the bulb okay so this is the N37 A500. Okay, why I choose this bulb is because of this. You see there's a two heat pipe running on this bulb secretary, okay? Now this one provide maximum efficiency on cooling, okay? It's not the fan that do the all the cooling job. It is actually part of it is the heat sink. So the heat sinks must be good. Now this one Indonesian channel show me the ability of this bulb but it's not from knobside brand so therefore i know there is one another company manufacture this bulb and like all the chinese company they rebrand it to their brand like knobside or whatever but actually the the other company is developing for them okay so if you want i, I can show you example maybe on the pictures above here i will attach which other company also produce the same design all right and spec as this bulb but it's not a knobside brand so therefore i know it's not really a knobside engineered bulb but maybe another manufacturer and they just rebrand it but don't get me wrong it doesn't mean that this bulb has no quality actually this is very very high quality bulb okay looking close at the led chip i'm not really sure gopro can focus it it has actually three individual chip okay inside a one one wall package like that okay the led chip is actually by Cree XLAM so there's a three chip here 
okay also on both sides so a total of six leds okay so as no type claim this led are automotive grade okay why it is it is important to say that is automotive grade because back in the days Northside company tries a lot of LED chip which doesn't work for example XHP 50 LED from Northside that have a small like a small blob of silicon lens in front of it and over the time when it overheat the lens crack and once it crack it fails okay again you can see the Cooper heat sink both of them is running to the entire body of this bulb okay now this is a very high grade aluminium i can feel it it's really really solid and you as you can see this is the led driver if you want to choose a bad led bulb make sure the one that you choose the led driver is separate from the bulb okay not the one that built in inside the bulb because over time when it overheat most of the time the one that is spoiled is the driver not the led chip from my experience so now this led driver this cover is not made of thin metal okay this is a solid aluminum cup okay i believe this is for cooling purpose this is really solid you see you see even i i knock it as a clean sound it's made it's really made a solid metal okay now this is very very solid this is really really contribute to the quality of this bulb so you see now no side also change a rubber cable instead of the cloth type of wrapping cable okay which is it absorb water and this is better because it's rubber water does not get into it because it's just slip away if you have the one that uh what like a woven fiber woven cable then water may get intact inside so somehow it also can destroy the electronics okay as you can see the fan at the back housing a five blades fan and together with this kind of like a uh, shape that Nobside say it helps to radiate the airflow. I'm not really sure on that. And then the good news is the neck here, which is the socket around here, is adjustable. So that you can adjust the bulbs, okay, angle to make sure it is aligned with your reflector line to make it more focused on the beam, okay. So for this bulb, I will install on my high beam on my Toyota Wish okay uh we'll see how the result are uh, again i'm not going to show you how the installation is made because it is easy guys just twist put in the new guys and that's it you're done and this one of course you need to plug the existing power outlet from your car okay so that's it guys we are going to install this